Click on the weapon skin you'd like to know more about. I've done a little bit of research into each of them for this video, so I'm not just saying, here's a pink AK or whatever. The XM1014 Slipstream skin was made by Dabes. He named it Torn, and it's one of ten that he has made for that collection. Every design has a randomised pattern with neat shapes. He has over 330 submissions on the workshop, with this being the first skin to be featured. In the past, however, 11 of his stickers have been featured, including the War Owl one. The UMP45 Briefing by Poignant Envy is his fifth featured skin. The patterns on this weapon aren't random lines and squiggles. They're part of a top-down view of a CSGO map, complete with bomb sites. The P90 Grim is Goober's first featured skin. He originally named it with two M's, though one got locked off somewhere along the line. He hopes that the design will strike fear into the hearts of your enemies. As if the P90 wasn't terrifying enough already. Slimeface is no newcomer to the workshop with nearly 800 submissions for both CSGO and Dota 2, many of which have already been officially included in the games. The Negev Dazzle is his latest, which features a randomised pattern. The G3SG1 ventilator was also created by Slimeface. You may also remember the ventilator dualies, which were featured in the Chroma 3 case released earlier this year in April. This 5.7 is the second skin in CSGO to feature the Scumbria design by G99 Factory, whose XM1014 of this design was included in the Shadow case last year. The skin was inspired by Fish Skin, with a very shiny two-tone design. The CZ75 imprint skin is TO's fifth to be featured. It's part of his Tread series, which features 21 different designs for a number of weapons in various different colours. In fact, the one that was featured is the only one to be all one colour. The rest all have two-tone designs. Maybe we'll see these included at some point in the future. The SG553 Triarch was designed by Final. It's the only one he's made from this series, though if it looks familiar in its Deus Ex style, that's because he also does another futuristic weapon skin collection known as Triumvirate, from which a 5.7 made it into the Wildfire case earlier this year. This bold SCAR 20 design was made by Endrit and is called Power Core. There's another design that wasn't included that uses yellow instead of orange. Fun fact, this is his third featured skin for CSGO and so far they've all had a dominantly green theme. The Mag-7 Petroglyph is PTP's sixth accepted skin. He originally named it Tribal Blood and says it's to show your mercenary pals that you travel the world and have a very culturally diverse lifestyle. It's got two sister skins, an orange one named Tribal and a blue, red and yellow one called Tribal Sky, which he has also done for a variety of other weapons as well. I like this. The Glock 18 Weasel was created by the Honey Badger, who despite submitting only 120 workshop submissions, has had a huge amount of success in getting them into the game and is followed by thousands of people. He said that some weapons suit fearsome and mythical creatures. The Glock, however, isn't one of them. Hence the Weasel, which he did some research into. He studied their skeleton structure and chose a design that looked as though it was being held by the user. There are some lovely early sketches, which he's also included on the workshop page. Despite originally being submitted over a year ago, it received an update when he realised that Weasels had white tummies. The Desert Eagle design, Directive, was a collaboration between Primrose and Millennia. Primrose claims to be the first and only contributor to get an item into all three flagship Valve games, and Millennia has gotten two previous skins accepted, including the popular covert M4A4 skin, Battlestar. This deagle was a Robocop-inspired skin that was designed to look low-tech and gritty, and was originally named Constable, further going with the cop theme. It was originally submitted for Polycount 70s and 80s sci-fi skin contest, where it received an honourable mention. The Tech 9 Fuel Injector skin was created by Emu and is his second accepted skin after an AK, both being from the same supercharged collection, which is geared around a car and engine theme. It comes complete with a leather handle and a front wrapped in exhaust tape. The skin even has its own YouTube showcase video. The MP9 airlock was a bit of a mystery, since they misspelt the maker's name. A Steam search for Freeze Use only came up with this guy, who I don't think made it. Instead it was created by Frexius, with an X, and the gun was originally named Narcisse. It was inspired by the movie Alien and was submitted to the Polycount sci-fi competition. The org Sid Mead was made by Sid Mead, a famous guy who worked on films such as Blade Runner and Tron. It was a joint collaboration with Caridium and yet strangely doesn't show up on his workshop. I'm not sure where it is to be honest. 
the roll cage for mass by Cozier was originally named Rally, and there are blue, green and red variations of it for both the FAMAS and M4A1S. The worn designs didn't used to get dirty until a later update. The AK-47 Neon Revolution is another collaboration, this time between Caridium, again, and Gamer's Book. You'd think at first glance that it would be something inspired by Suicide Squad, yet it was released over a year ago and was made for a counterpit tournament, and was inspired by music from the Sex Pistols, Prodigy and Pendulum, among others. 